Hi everybody! I know that my video looks um, overly exposed, but I'm here today because my sister asked me to do a street food video. Since I found myself in Yaoundé, I'm now at the Independent Square. I invite you guys to come along with me as I try different kinds of street food in Yaoundé. Let's go! of you guys have been asking me to create platforms to which you can support my channel financially so i created a cash app a paper and a patreon links to these three platforms are in the description box down below thank you We're just going to sit here for a few minutes we're going to sit here for like 45 minutes or so to see if we find any street food that is interesting to try and show you guys and if we don't we're going to leave from here and go to another location not far from here where people come to hang out mostly on working days so um, yeah let's wait and see So guys, we, we are going to get like some people. This is the first thing. I remember when I used to go to the market when I get really thirsty, I like to get the one that is frozen, right? But he doesn't have the one that is frozen. So I'm just going to get the cold one. Have a good Thank you. This is what we found. And um, this thing comes, I think this is the 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 raisins one. And then it also comes, I know that it also comes in a citrus sponge. Like there's orange in it, tangerine and all those kind of things. So yeah, I'll prefer it when it's frozen. When it's frozen, it's so refreshing. But I'm going to manage. Mm. This was quite a good start. I like it. Ah, my people! <laughs> I'm actually here at this food stand. They have a lot of food, so I just feel like we're going to sit here. We're just going to sit here and eat. Like, I'm done. I'm just going to sit here. We'll have our food here. We'll order quite a number of things. We'll have our food here and we'll move on to the next place. I think we'll eat like four to five different meals here. Oh my god. I'm just so happy that we not stay at that place. I'm happy that we came and found this place. I cannot wait to try. Il y a pas le poulet gros, on voit les petits, mais c'est quand même bon. Ça va pas me le faire 500. Ça peut faire plus 500, 700, 
La bonne nous arranger. Vous avez pris le plat de combien 1000 francs, la, la crise économique, la conjoncture, tout ça. If you've watched my Let's Cook video, I made this kind of ganache. So we're having it with fried fish. And then here we have um, pepper, some pepper sauce. You guys know that Cameroonian thing is always saucy and spicy. So we have this pepper to go along with every single thing. So let's enjoy the feast. We're starting with the chicken. So I'm going to go in with the chicken first. This is me adding pepper. <laughs> I don't, and the thing is, I didn't even taste food before adding the pepper. I just go ahead straight in and add pepper. <laughs> That's the camera in me, Jesus. I didn't even taste it. Okay, so I just put my pepper and I'm going to try the chicken. Mm. Pepper is hot. <laughs> Guys, this is a bit, they're not yet to play. Jesus, the pepper is so spicy. Mm. Oh my god, it's really good. I cannot believe that. I don't know, is this fried chicken? I don't know if any chicken is fried. It's roasted chicken, right? Mm. But I just I could not see what they were doing inside there. It was right under the counter. So I could not see. This is roasted chicken. It's so moist. I cannot believe my eyes. I cannot believe my tongue. <laughs> Oh my god. I wish I could wash my hands actually because this stuffing is not my portion. <laughs> wow. The chicken is really good. Oh my god. Mm. You can feel the spices right to the bone. It's really nice. Okay, guess guess who was like a never please. The box for me, the box for me. I want to go. Okay. Mm. I wish that we had my nest, seriously. Oh my goodness. Mm. 
So the dish I'm going to try next is the bongo choppy. Basta people in the house. Hello. Hello. So I'm going to go with this. This is the next I'm going to try. Guys, look at what I got. Yeah. Who remembers this thing? Do you remember this thing from when you were younger? <laughs> okay, I'll explain what it is later. Let's eat first. This place is place. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the bongo chubby. Alright, so I'm going to go now with the, the bongo chubby. I can't even remember the last time I had bongo chubby. But I'm going to have it today. So. Alright, so guys, I'm going to try it. Let me get a spoon. Oh, this black soup is very good. You can just get a multitude of spices. Like you don't even know where the spices start, you don't know where they end. It's just amazing, honestly. I'm just going with this mashuaron. <laughs> the only complaint I have about this food is that the food is quite cold. Um, there's not enough pepper in the food, unless she took the pepper away. So, but it's really good. This is just how bongo chop is supposed to be. I like it. I'm not going to try the macabo rapé and the okra soup, okra granite soup with the fried fish. I'm going to go in and try it. Let me try it again. This is the macabo rapé. And I'm going to try with the opera soup. The macabo rapé is really good. It's, it's really soft. It's a bit spongy. But it's very yeah, soft it and it almost dissolves in your mouth. It's just like um, some kind of ice cream. It almost dissolves in your mouth. I don't think that uh, it goes well with this sauce. Uh, well, let me try again. <laughs> Honestly, I prefer to eat the macabre rapé empty. 
I bet it's empty.